Okay, in this video we want to take a look at the GLA tool. There's actually two uh, methods under this tool, the theory method and the regression method. We want to take a look at the theory method. What uh, will be asked for is to enter seven variables. The first uh, variable is the comparable above grade uh, GLA value. We've estimated that uh, before on what our comp is. And then we, if we've done an age adjustment, we'll have an age adjustment factor. In this case, let's assume it was 30%, so our age-adjusted above-grade uh, GLA value for the comparable is 120. That's the value we'll be working off of to create this model. Uh, we'll be asked for the size, uh, 2,400 square foot. Uh, the rate will be calculated for us. The next uh, variable we'll be asked to enter is the subject size, and uh, uh, we'll plug in 2,800 for this uh, example. We're also asked to uh, come up with a range that we want to do this analysis over. So uh, we'll uh, do our range from 2,000 to uh, 3,000 square feet. And we'll also estimate a rate decline over this range for this analysis. We're going to plug in 10%. Now once we've done that, uh, the tool will display a rate per square foot uh, chart for us and also plot the graph. Um, for that equation, you notice that it's sloping. That slope is sloping 10% uh, over this range. That's important to remember uh, as we work through this model is uh, what our decline over the range is. Uh, then uh, we'll also have a graph and that will plot the indication and we'll see that curve as well. This uh, graph is simply the rate times the size will equal the indication. Note that that curve is slightly curved because uh, the indications are increasing as the size increases, but it's increasing at a decreasing rate. Uh, that rate is falling, so that's what we note. Uh, then the uh, tool will place the comp vector uh, over the two graphs, and we'll notice here that it will show us what the rate per square foot is as well as the overall indications. So at $50 a square foot at 2,400 feet, our comp is indicating 120. We've already specified that earlier in the, in the model. Uh, we'll also see the subject appear at 2,800 square foot subject is indicating a rate of uh, 47.92 if uh, we're along that uh, rate curve and that will at 2,800 square foot, that would indicate a value of 134, 167. Uh, that adjustment uh, from that comp to the subject would be $14,167. The difference, uh, about 400 square feet, and the adjustment rate, about $36 a square foot. So that's what we would enter into our adjustment uh, for this comp to the subject, assuming that this model is uh, doing a uh, pretty good job at estimating. Uh, the tool will also uh, give us the equation and the uh, theory for, uh, the theory model will also show us uh, basically a table of those values, uh, both the rate table and the indication table, so we can scroll up and down that if we need to and see what uh, values are being specified. We can also um, save this work and um, Pull it up later. The advantage of this uh, tool is it lets us create a model based on a comparable sale and, and the appraisal principles um, to estimate adjustment. Once again, the appraisal principle is that uh, our rate should decline as size increases. So if we know a, a uh, rate and a size from a comp uh, and a price, we should be able to build this model and uh, get uh, a perspective on what value indication ought to be. Thank you for listening.